Hi, this is Charting Man Dan of TheChartGuys.com, home of technical analysis education. Click the link for a free week trial, no credit card required, and gain access to our multiple live broadcasts daily, community chat room, educational videos, nightly watch lists, and more. Invest in your education and future and join the community today. Looking at gold and some miners on the daily and weekly and hourly time frames. So gold is still seeing the 10 day moving average resistance at 1330.74, but we're also seeing higher lows continue. So we have a tightening range on declining volume. Anytime that occurs, you know a break is imminent. And we know with the FOMC tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern, that's when the break's going to occur. And it's going to be a very big volatile break. We're either going to be headed up towards 1340 and beyond or down to 1308 and 1300 if it's a bearish reaction in gold. So the weekly time frame, the bulls are trying to establish some continuation to the upside after two weeks of consolidation, and we'll be looking up at the high of last week, 1338.80, if it is a bullish reaction. And looking at the hourly chart, there's all kinds of resistances. Here we had a bullish break from this down or from this tightening pattern on the hourly. Didn't get much follow through, but we can see the previous resistance line acting as support, and then the support line acting as support when it was tested. So I'm going to keep this uptrend line. It's very useful here on the hourly so far holding every test that approaches it and if we zoom out we can see 1334 was resistance and we dumped and then we rejected from 1334 again and pulled back so if the bulls can turn that level into support it will be a significant development we've been watching all kinds of gold miner plays and checking out gdx now so the bulls seeing a nice day higher open breaking the high of yesterday and we're looking back now at the highs from last week 2897, 2902, 2895. And that's where the bulls were rejected. And we're getting back towards those levels with a nice strong recovery in those miners today. We'll see if they can build off that momentum. And it'll be interesting to see how the miners react. They will likely have more of an impact on what gold does on the FOMC announcement. But if markets rip higher, that will definitely help the miners, the miner stocks in the stock market, that is. So we'll definitely be watching what the miners do individually compared to gold and see which has more weight. There have definitely been days where we see the market have more of an impact and then we see gold have more of an impact. The weekly chart for GDX looking like a bullish reversal candlestick. After a few days of consolidation, the bulls are looking for this to be a bull flag, which is what occurred here on this little month of consolidation before hitting higher highs. So 10 week support is 27.28. If we close right here, it's a bullish reversal candlestick heading into next week. But we know the FOMC is going to have a big impact on how this candlestick looks tomorrow so the miners are on high watch gold is on high watch the market is on high watch and 2 p.m eastern tomorrow is sh sure to be an exciting time and we will see how things shape up after the dust settles tomorrow after hours will be very telling on what to expect in the short term in all of these plays i appreciate you watching hope you have a great night